So now let's talk, um, invite Patrick Schick. He's one of my colleagues and is a product marketing manager at IDS. He will show us now how fast and easy you can conduct a feasibility study by using the IDS NXT. Our IDS NXT Ocean Creative Kit can not only detect, but also count, segment, etc. It's pretty easy to use. So let's see what is detected as a vegetable and what not. Patrick, would you like to show us? Yeah, thanks, Miriam. I would like to start. So sharing my screen. Hopefully my screen is visible now. Um, hello and welcome to this third part of today's IDS Vision Channel session. Stolda, I'm Patrick Schick, Product Marketing Manager here at IDS. And my personal goal of this session is that you leave today and have the strong feeling that you have to try out, try out AI now. And I would like to do this uh, on some practical examples and show you how fast this can do. So <clears throat> let's start and to make it practical, let's start with a definition of a task you have to solve. Imagine you get the job to show the management board if it is realistic to build an AI-based vegetable detector to be able, for example, to count, package, or price vegetables afterwards. A possible setup could be, as shown here in the image, an IDS NXT camera on a copy stand. And to make your life easy, you can start with uh, detecting tomatoes and bell peppers. So what is needed to start with this feasibility study? First of all, you would say, okay, I need AI knowledge. I have to understand how this works. I need a programming knowledge because I have to develop an application. I need AI capable hardware for running neural networks and also to do the training. You need images from the vegetables to be able to train and then later on detect them. So this is a tough list um, because you know what AI is good for, but how to use it, this is at the moment a big question mark. Programming skills are there from some coding projects in your spare time, but AI hardware you won't get at the moment. You have to start with your workstation because there's currently no specific hardware in the office. I think we can stop here with this list and the arguments because we know that this list can get very long and may end the study before it really starts. And we even did not talk about the needed images by now. I would like to show you how you get it to a way to go to first steps without AI, uh, with AI, without these hurdles we've just talked here. So by using, I have to go down there, the uh, IDS NXT Ocean Creative Kit, because with the Creative Kit, we can check mark the first three bullet points. You get a hardware which can execute neural networks, the IDS NXT camera. In this case, an IDS NXT Rio with all the needed accessories to start. Besides, the hardware in the Creative Kit is also a license for the IDS NXT training platform, IDS NXT Lighthouse included. In the description section below of the video, we'll find a link where you can order and get more information about this IDS NXT Ocean Creative Kit. Okay, what does this mean for you? You even do not need proper AI knowledge because this is all included in the training platform. No need to download an open source AI kit and crawl through forums. The only thing you need is a bunch of images. But also this is often more easy said than it is in reality. Where to get the images when the application is not developed? I will show you today 
three ways to get images for starting a feasibility study. For sure, there are more approaches available, but from my point of view, these three are the handiest. So hardware and AI knowledge and programming knowledge is checkmarked because you have the IDS and XC Ocean Creative Kit. Now let's see how we get to the images. We have three different approaches. So uh, first of all, using an online database, a good starting point may be freely available data sets on GitHub, or what I like to use is Kaggle. Um, to give you an understanding about Kaggle, I quote from the website. Kaggle is an Airbnb for data scientists. This is where they spend their nights and weekends. It's a crowdsourced platform to attract, nurture, train, and challenge data scientists from all around the world to solve data science, machine learning, and pred predictive analytics problems. Also, the link to Kaggle will be down in the notes. Kaggle contains a lot of image data sets, and later in the session, we will get in contact with some of them. Second approach is to use your smartphone and gather images. So just take your smartphone, take images from the object under inspection, try to use roughly a similar field of view and a distance to the object as in a later camera setup and start taking images. For sure, you could also use the IDS NXT camera to take the images if you have one on hand at the time. Uh, for this, there is IDS NXT crawler included in the IDS NXT cockpit, which supports you in the task of acquiring images. Last but not least, use artificial images. Generate artificial images, for example, when you have 3D data of your object, you can image, render the images in different scenes, positions, rotations, with the expected camera setup parameters. And okay, there's a fourth approach, combine the data out of the three other approaches to get even more training data. But now let's see step-by-step step how these approaches work to get to a feasibility study. And we will start with the online database. So back to our initial task, the vegetable detector feasibility study. Let's start to solve. So we go to Gaggle and search for an appropriate data set. You will find the link down in the description for, of this video. Here are two possible. There's a fruit and vegetable image recognition data set and a fruit 360, a data set full of images containing fruits and vegetables. I personally use this fruit and vegetable data set, downloaded it, uploaded the bell pepper and tomato training images to IDS NXT Lighthouse and started. So to get this again in your mind, we didn't even capture one image of our own. We just take an online database, uploaded it to IDS NXT Lighthouse, our cloud-based training platform. And now the only task we have to do is to label these images. If you would have took these images with IDS NXT crawler, you maybe can skip this step. If you use the labeling feature included in crawler, for us who took the Kaggle data set, we have to draw the boxes and label the content. So here in this case, we label the bell peppers and tomatoes in various different images. After done this, we create a neural network project, choose the formula as a data set and start the training. For the training, to make your life easy, you can start with default settings, which are available directly set in IDS NXT Lighthouse. You can start the training and it goes away. And 
here in my case, I put some specific um, parts, which you can also do is to swap color channels or something like this. And as this takes some time, I have prepared one network uh, and this neural network can then be uploaded into the classifier app of IDS NXT. Before I switch to the live view of IDS NXT and show you how this works, I would like to give you uh, some numbers. I used round about 95 images per class and had in summary 400 instances for the tomatoes and 330 for the bell peppers. And so now let's go live. Um, to the IDS NXT camera, our object detector. Okay, hopefully you can see now uh, the IDS NXT camera, and you see with an accuracy of around about 80 to 90 percent, we can detect those bell peppers and tomatoes. You can see this is live here. And thus, without any kind of self-made images, every image um, was uh, taken from the Kegel dataset. So back to the presentation. <coughs> so and. Um, pretty quite easy and fast approach. I would say it took me around about three hours. Um, and mostly it was to label the images and um, to let the training run to have such a kind of, of result. And for this, I would say we can check mark um, the, the task you get. Yes, with AI, you can start implementing applications where you have to detect, um, in this case, bell peppers and tomatoes. OK, we found images of bell peppers and tomatoes and every typical things on the internet. So we can train our system with it. But what do we do when we have such a special object under inspection, as you can see here on the image, image or crazy brush, which you do not find data in the World Wide Web. There the approach come into handy when we took the images with IDS NXT crawler or even with your smartphone camera. I choose this crazy brush as an object under inspection and our task in this case will be to um, classify if it is built up well or not, we check if the battery is included or not. And as this is an object uh, where neither image database exists nor 3D data, I take a bunch of images with my smartphone, create a new data set. Um, I tried to simulate the distance of the real application, took images from different perspectives, uh, with and without the battery included, and I labeled this image accordingly. A short hint with IDS NXT Lighthouse, if you store the images in separate named folders on the PC, and you name them well, you can upload complete folders and use the folder name as label for the images. Makes your life easier. And here also the result. Um, Battery is available, and when you're moving the battery, it works also. We have the state battery missing, both with an accuracy higher than 80%. And for those of you who are now complaining, OK, there were clear bright and dark difference between the images, a clear lettering on the battery. Um, I would like to show you it works also with another battery. Um, so it does not depend on um, bright um, color or on a on the letters on it. It really detects there's a battery, there's none. 
I again have to mention that this is still a feasibility study. And for sure, I do not want to bring the current setup in a production because to give you some numbers, it took me two minutes, uh, two minutes to take the images. Labeling was automatic because I used the folder names. The training takes some minutes. In worst case, let's say after around about 30 minutes, I had a first neural net running with round about 50 images per class with the results I've just shown to you. I was pretty impressed. If I thought about how I, I would develop this with a classical rule-based algorithm, to be honest, I didn't get pretty good ideas. Which then, last but not least, brings us to the third approach with artificial images created out of available 3D data. So a colleague of mine created a bunch of images on different backgrounds, different colors, and always from the camera point of view. In a rendering software, you can even add your later application properties like distance to object, focal length, illumination, and so on. Again, we then feed the images into data sets and training. And to no surprise, it detects from us so-called part finder object. The neural net again here was trained with only 69 images. And yeah, for sure, the net does not run ultimately stable in every condition. But at least it is good enough to see that it will be solvable with artificial intelligence. Again, have in mind, we took 69 images. Um, this took us an automatic script to render the, the part finder images and um, some minutes of training. So if a, my boss comes to me and would ask me this question, is this solvable with AI? It doesn't take a lot of amount of hardware. It doesn't take uh, a long time. I would say after um, worst case two hours, I can give a rough guess estimation yet will be solvable or no, won't be solvable. Um, to verify that the neural net is able to really distinguish between the part finder and for example, the crazy brush, we, put both data sets together into a training and trained a neural network to detect both in a scene. And also this works pretty well in this early stage. So we had three uh, different approaches to come to images, um, just from online sources, smartphone images or artificial images. I would like to summarize with this, and I hope I could get you an impression how easy and fast it is to start with AI and evaluate if your application can be solved with artificial intelligence, even without proper AI knowledge and not available images. My personal recommendation, if you'd like to dig deeper into this topic, check out the other videos here at the Ideas Vision channel or even better, get your hands on the IDS NXT Ocean Creative Kit and start your first AI project. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to ask or put them in the comments. Thank you.